morning everybody and welcome to our craft along this Thursday. We'll be here for an hour showing you um, how to make three fabulous cards and a craft along means one thing, it means our club gift is very nearly gone. So if you have got yours, that's absolutely amazing, you can craft along with us or if you haven't, get over to the website and get yours before it's gone. But um, I'm not here on my own today. I am with Anne Marie. Good morning. Hey, you okay? Yes, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Um, I've not seen you since Monday, so we'll have to do our catch up live on air. Yes, yeah, this is fine. <laughs> um, <laughs> are we having a good week? Yeah, we're having a really um, good week. A pink week. A very pink week. Lots of goodie boxes. So many goodie boxes. I don't know if you said, but on Monday, have you told everybody that the pink goodie boxes were our right? Our idea. Oh, well, I kind of mentioned it because you know I like to, you know, get I, praise I said, where and it's I did, I did tell everybody at Hobby Maker. I was like, me and Kelly had to fight for this yeah. because Dan wasn't. He wasn't against it, but he mm -hmm. also wasn't in love with it. And me and Kelly were like, yeah, well, we love it. Yeah, we kind of just went ahead. We did. We, we did. just we just did it anyway. <laughs> Provided him some sample some ideas. And yeah. We like, yeah. So we'll order the pink ones, and they'll be arriving. <laughs> So, yeah, so we've enjoyed that and it's been really nice setting everything up pink. Yeah. And I think on Goodie Box Week, you start the week by looking out into the warehouse and the boxes are so high, it's all you can see, it's pink goodie boxes everywhere. And as the week goes on, they get little just, and little yeah. and little piles of they goodie boxes. They have been so busy this week, haven't they? Oh, it's, it's been absolutely crazy. I think this is probably the fastest that they've they've gone. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we have sold the number raised, is it 70% Lisa? 70% have gone in just technically pre-order Sunday, so three days really. Didn't you call 60 yesterday? I know. That's madness, know. isn't it? That 10% of that stock has gone overnight and it's a mega stock as well. Like yeah. it is seriously thousands because we know how popular they are. Yeah. It is so many goodie boxes. And like you say, there are walls. It's like there's just towers of goodie yeah. boxes. <laughs> and we really enjoy it here in the office and like showing, opening it all for yeah. you to see at home. But I went into the warehouse on Monday just to put some stuff back that I had on my desk. Yeah. And then one of the ladies was like, oh, we don't like you. It's goodie box. We were so busy. I was like, oh. Sorry. sorry, don't look at sorry. me, I'm so sorry. You know what, we got in one of ours on Tuesday at Hobby Maker, we got a glue and residue eraser Yeah. in one of our goodie boxes. Oh, no. It's new, when did and that launch? Like last desk month? Desktop organiser, one of those. Did you? Yeah. Oh my goodness. I so. can't believe it. <laughs> I was just like, is this for real? <laughs> it is, we've gone crazy. But um, let's get on with the show. Um, do we have a VT, Lisa? Well, we've not done one weekly yet. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Let's run Win It Weekly. So this week you can be in the chance of winning this Aqua Adorable Scoreboard. Look how big this is, it's amazing. We use our scoreboards all the time. So we've got three lucky winners, we're going to announce three of them tomorrow. And all you have to do is like, share and comment your answer to the following question. What unusual pet did French poet Gérard de Nevon walk on the streets of Paris? Is it A, a chicken, is it B, a lobster or is it C, a monkey? I have no idea whatsoever. It's well. Is it World Poetry Day today? It is indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, one of our colleagues on our team mm -hmm. um, has created a poem. Oh. A, a crafty poem. So Ooh, that, this is cool. I know. So that will be out on Facebook today. So make sure you have a look. Um, but yes, let us know what you're thinking, and we will announce three lucky winners tomorrow. But let's get into it. It's our craft along time. And Marie, do you have your three cards there just I to show what we're doing? I do. Making? So this is the first one that we're going to make. So we did a little bit of um, a little bit of a poll, didn't we? A little bit of yes. a vote. Um, and asked everybody which cards they would like to see created. So we're going to make this one first, which is a really cool Z fold. And I love the way that usually when you do a Z fold, we tend to put this at the top. So it's nice to see it a little bit different. So we're going to make that one. Then we are going to make this incredible acetate easel um, card as well. Love the leopard oh, print. I really like that one. It's so pretty, isn't it? Yeah. So kind of dramatic. And look how different they look. They're from the same kit but they look so different, don't they? And then we're also gonna do a little bit of stamping 
and we're going to make this one. Oh, love it. It's super cute, isn't it? Amazing. I feel like everything this week is just up my street. Everything's yep. pink, everything's <laughs> leopard. So, yeah, let's just head over to um, the Club Gift Bundle that's here. So, if you haven't already got yours, make sure you go on the website and grab it because we have got limited stock. So, this is your Club Gift Bundle. And in the middle there, you will see that Wild Celebrations Club Gift. So, in total, this is £25.96. So you're going to get that 12-piece deluxe card collection. You're going to get 12 sheets of adorable scorable, the bite-sized book, and inserts and double-sided papers. So that is yours for just £12.99. So that club gift, free club gift is already in there and that's why we can do the bundle for £12.99. So it's such an amazing value. But let's just have a quick flick through before we head on over to Anne-Marie of the club gift if you haven't already seen it. Look at this. Look oh. at the size of the topper on this sheet. It's a whopper, isn't it, that one? Oh, it it is. really is. I mean, that is just the focal point for your card, surely. Um, and have you seen down here these little heart-shaped tags? They are so sweet. And of course, with this club gift, it's all black foiling, which I'm not... Is this a first to have a club gift with I think it is. Foiling? No, I don't think we've done a club gift in fancy foil before. I know, that's what I was thinking. Unless we've maybe done holographic, but I can't, I can't remember. Yeah, same. Um, and here we've got um, those foiled little hearts around the butterfly and that leopard panel at the bottom is in that black foiling. So it's just so pretty. This one is our fabulous purple signature hunky dory purple. And we've got, look at that little cupcake trifle. It's so cute, oh, isn't it? So sweet. Fancy drinks at the bottom. So a really celebratory topper here. Um, treat yourself, let's party, and many happen returns. And then here we've got some traditional leopard. You can't go wrong with traditional leopard. No, I mean, you can't go wrong with leopard full stop. No, you can't. This, this is a true story. I mean, I think I've been wearing leopard for 10 years. More, yeah. forever. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, and it's just, it's one of those patterns, it's never going to go out of style, is no, it? No, definitely not. It's its just so cool, isn't it? And I think even, you know, if you know someone that's maybe not into it as much as me and Kelly, yeah. you've got the more <laughs> kind of muted ones as well with the, yeah. the black there, with the kind of grey on there. Oh, look at that. We've got fancy docks down here in the leopard print, the flowers. I mean, you're just going to have so much fun with this. We've got tags, we've got glasses. So you can even use the glasses if you've got like, summery birthdays or yeah. anything like that and of course it's all in our adorable scorable cardstock so you can cut into this you can get fancy you can you can make easel cards stepper cards fussy cut around here there's just so much you can do but look look at that pattern <laughs> it's so nice and then this one is our foil cardstock. So these these lines down here are all in that lovely midnight black foiling the hearts are as well it's super cute, isn't it? Oh, I love this one. Look at this one. Party it's just so balloons. stylish, isn't it? Yeah. And I feel like if you're going to make a card with this and like send it in the post, it will it will totally pass the one that you bought at the shop. Yeah. You know, sometimes it's it's really nice to do that handmade look, but then as well, <coughs> this can just look really professional. I love it. Look at those. So balloons. cute. And there's some nice corners that you can cut into, matte and layer, it's going to look amazing. So you can get that um, completely free, it's £9.99 usually, but if you log into your account, add it to your basket, all you have to do is just pay postage. But we've got some more. So this is what's in your club gift bundle. So we've got these 12 sheets of adorable scorable. So we've got six colours and you're going to get two of each of these colours. Look how it's nice It's so pretty, are. isn't it? You Such can, amazing colours. I know. And you can see they're going to go absolutely perfectly with that collection. Um, I painted my nails last night thinking, I'm going to go pink. And they have got neon. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm, I'm going to match the goodie box today. You look fab. <laughs> we like it. Um, we have got, look at this bite size book. Oh, I love this. £4.99. Um, I think as well, if you've got the bundle and then you started making some cards, one of these like products, it's, it's worth just getting again. Do you know? So you've got that in Definitely. your stash. Because once our club gifts have gone, we don't bring these back. So this is not going to be a little book that's going to stay in our stash. No, definitely not. And Look you know, 60 that. sheets in there. So that could be 60 toppers, which in turn could be 60 cards that you could be making. Yeah. You know, if you sold all of those, we say it all the time, sell them all for a pound. 
you know, you've got sixty pounds there, but you sell them all for fifty p. Yeah. You know, you've made thirty pounds. You've covered the cost of your club gift. Yeah. You could buy yourself another one with the profit. Oh, yeah. You know, like <laughs> actually pay full price for another one. Oh, um, it's such amazing value, isn't it? Oh, it really is. Especially as well if you've got the Moonstone die or any of our nesting dies as well, you can use this with these pages. Yeah, definitely. Do a little bit of pyramage or yeah. a little bit of fussy cutting. And then last up, so the last thing you are going to get in that bundle is your inserts and papers. So I'll just flick through those inserts so you can see they're all these beautiful designs, just slightly muted. Aww. So pretty, aren't they? So and they pretty. could they don't have to be inserts either. You could use these on the front of your cards and just add a sentiment or something or yeah. you know, just one little topper or pop a frame around some of the images and you know, just make it more of a feature. And if you are quite computer savvy as well and you don't and you want to create like a long message you can print on these inserts. Yeah, definitely you could stamp your messages onto them as well. Um, you can ink them, die cut them, emboss them, you know, absolutely anything. Look at these papers. Oh, they're fabulous, oh, aren't they? Look at all that. And each one has got this fabulous pattern on the reverse as well in all these different nice, look at that hot pink. So beautiful colours. So cool. We'll have to do a leopard print goodie box next, Kelly. Oh, we should. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get working straight away when we've finished. <laughs> I'll get it ready. Come back next year. <laughs> 2025. <coughs> oh, look. So oh, that pretty. one. Love that, that one's so nice. And then all those beautiful florals there. It's so it's just so happy, isn't it? It's cheerful. And there, we've got some oh, nice gorgeous as well. So let's head oh <coughs> I think we've got a little slide to show you what you will need for this first demonstration. So let's have a look. So you just need your club gift, you'll need the adorable scorable selection, some foam pads and some tape. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so we need the, um, is it daffodil, this yellow? A buttercup? I can't remember its official name, but you need the yellow out of the Adorable Scorable pack. I think I do have it here We're going to use um, this gorgeous foil cardstock. So you've just got that foil, is it foil? Yeah, the foil detail down here in the little stars. And you need your time to celebrate topper sheet. We also need, Kelly, I don't know if you're in the spares box down there, if we've yeah. got the double-sided paper that's got the hot pink leopard print on the reverse. Okay. That's just sneaking in behind that topper. So the first thing we're going to do is create the card base. So we'll just a little bit of something stuck under there then. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to trim this down to 10 inches because when we're doing our Z folds, this is just a nice round size to start with. And we're also going to trim it down. I think it's seven. Yeah. Trim it down to seven this way as well. So what will this will fold into is a nice seven by five card blank. So we can pop that out of the way for now. Let's get our scores into this section first of all. <coughs> Will this work or do you need the actual double side paper? Um, what is that? Is that from the... I think it's from one of the... Like, oh, is it the one main of the foils? Kit. Yeah. Or is it... I could use something else probably. But you can have one of mine, Stash. I don't mind. Okay, so we're going to score at five and we're going to score at seven and a half. So five is our halfway point and that seven and a half mark there is going to give us that fold back in that Z fold. So it's just going to create that gorgeous fold like this. And then we're going to go back to our cardstock now for a second and we're going to trim off. Thank you. There's just a little bit sneaking in behind the, um, the topper and the frame. So we're going to take off this border. So we're going to just line that up on our trimmer and just take that off. So I'm keeping the black foil on this section here because that's going to create our next fold. So let's come back over to this. Um, oh, we need to trim it to 10 as well. I was going to do all my trimmings in one go, but we've, um, we've veered off that now. <laughs> so we're going with it. <laughs> So trim that to 10. And then what we want to create now is the opposite of this. So where we've done five and then two two and a halves here, we're going to do the two two and a halves first. So we're going to do two and a half and five. So that's just the complete opposite of this. So that is then going to fold that way to give us that Z along the top edge there. 
So if you scored it the wrong way, it doesn't matter because this is a border that you could flip over, um, but just try and, or you could flip your cardstock over because obviously we're decorating it. You can kind of work it round if you don't score them quite the right way, but you just need to remember, you need to get that opposite section. So it creates that kind of square finish at the top when your cards stuck together. Okay, so that's our scoring all done. So we can pop the scoreboard out of the way. And then we're gonna go back to this beautiful cardstock. <clears throat> and I'm going to trim this to just under seven. Um, so I'm just going to take a little smidge off the very top. And then we're going to do the mat and layer panels. So we're going to do one that's just under five. So I'm doing three notches. That's going to give us quite a chunky little border. I'll just show you on here when we pop that on. It gives us a nice chunky uh, border of that that yellow if you want to do smaller mats and layers or larger mats and layers you can do that as well it depends on how much you want to show and then we're going to do the same there just under two and a oh no that was two just under two and a half to go into this section here so they're the two mats and layers so now we can get doing our sticking and putting this all together. So let's get our topper out of the frame first of all. So we're going with this one. Obviously you could mix and match. You could use the um, the presents if you want to on here. So I like to snip the pips. We all know this. And we're gonna take that one. We're gonna take our, let me just double check. They're just for you and the little butterflies off here and that is all that we need off there so look at all those toppers that we're going to have left when we've created this card so we'll put those on one side again just going around just grabbing all of your little pips and then we can get sticking together so we need to take out as well that inner frame from our topper. So again, I just like to go in with my scissors, um, more so with this so I don't damage that inner frame because it is so beautiful because it's that full foiled frame. It is gorgeous. So we're just gonna take this around, making sure I grab any of those little pips. And you weren't here when we launched this. You was um, looking for new exciting things. I know, I was... Uh, I was in Frankfurt with Dan, wasn't I? Yeah. For my sins. <laughs> <laughs> so is this the first time you've had a play with Do you know this? what? No, it's not because I, I mean, I feel like me and Dan did a show when we got back. Oh, okay. I'm sure we did because I had some of the bits on my desk. I've definitely, definitely done a little bit of creating with this. I wasn't 100% sure, but I did. I found the stamp on my desk and I found the, um, the bite size little book. Produce that show. Yeah, I was going to say we did. Yeah, and I used the die. Yeah. yeah, I remember. I knew I, I knew I had. That was back in January. Go so quick. It does, doesn't it? I mean, it was the very end of January, to be fair, wasn't it? Yeah. But still, yeah, it goes so fast. So we put foam pads on the back of there so that we can pop that frame onto that leopard print there. Um, we're just going to trim this out now. So just trimming around the edges there. Just making sure that that's nice and neat. I'm just going to tuck in and trim that bottom off a little bit. And then we're going to add our happy birthday topper back in there as well. Um, and I'm going to lift this up and put, put it on double foam pads. Just so that it really gets a little bit of height away from that frame as well. Um, a few comments for people that I've ordered this kit today. Oh, nice. Very exciting. There we go. So that's going to sit in the middle. So that's our topper. Let's come over to our card blank now. So I'm going to just grab my tape runner for this. Just because it's a little bit quicker. I don't know what that is. It's a little bit of acetate from my... Um, my screw hole punch when I was punching acetate the other week. <laughs> so that's just going to sit in that panel. 
This one's going to go onto the other side. And you could, if you wanted to, um, do another panel here. But I actually quite like it with that flash of yellow. I think it just really makes it pop. And then this section. So when you turn this over, you only need to put adhesive on these two bits. So if you just go in with your tape runner on there and on there, you can't go wrong. So I'm going to pop this one in place first of all. I'm going to come down maybe about an inch there. And then just to make sure that that all lines up and is nice and straight, we can kind of fold that and stick it down like this. So you want to make sure that this section here is loose so that when it's stood up, you can see that kind of diamond square shape that it creates. Um, and you can play around with the, the placement of that. You can have it right at the top. You could move it down. You could, you could have fussy cut the balloons and had that as the Z. You know, you can do lots and lots of things with this style of card once you've kind of got it into your, um, into your repertoire. The last few shows I've been on, it's just made me realise I don't know how you guys crafted without the tape runners. Beforehand. I know, it's madness, isn't it? It's just it? like everybody's go-to now. I feel so sad for my double-sided tape though because it's just <laughs> in the bottom of my box. It's not been used since we launched them. I feel so sad for it. I mean, I'm sure it'll have a place. Oh, you know, yeah. But... But it's not it's time to shine at the minute it's not it's not it's, it's had it's it's had a good run <laughs> <laughs> it has had a good run but yeah i do feel i feel so sad for it <laughs> <laughs> it's quite ridiculous isn't it okay we're going to add that gorgeous little butterfly on the bottom let's double that up actually as well so it just really cut, pops forward from our topper and our frame so we can add that down there and then we'll go in with these two little tags just underneath this section here. Um, so again, we'll get some foam pads just to add these in place. And they've got, they do have the little punch holes on the top of these. So you could pop some ribbons through, pop some little bows on if you wanted to. But that is our first card. Love it. It's so, so cool, isn't it? Yeah, love the yellow and the pink together. It's yeah, me really too. nice. And they might not be colours that you would automatically think to put together, but because it's done for you in the in the topper set, yeah, it gives you that confidence to to kind of just roll with it, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. So You're welcome. Demo on down. I've seen a few comments um, for people wondering how to get their club gift. So if you're not a member, just go over to our website and you create an account. It's completely free to join. All we need is your email address and then that opens you up to a world of opportunities so <laughs> you can shop with five percent off a discount and then you can also add this club gift to your basket so when you add it to your basket um it will be completely free you just pay postage so to get it free just make sure once you've made an account you are also signed in and then it is easy as that and there's lots of instructions on the website too so if you're not 100 percent sure it should walk you through it but yes um get on make an account and let me just show you some cards from before because I forgot to do it. I love it. that one. Look at this acetate as well. So pretty. So pretty. And the green and the black one here. Time to celebrate. Well, I quite like these, um, how we've put that little topper in there. Like, yeah, it's cute, isn't yeah. it? But just look how fun they all are. And then the next one as well. Look at that little flowery border. So that's so cute it's to do so if you just cute. mat and layer. Look at this one with those fancy shoes. Oh, amazing. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. And then this one. So again, all those patterns, if you're thinking you wouldn't put them together, but it totally works. It's all the same sort of colours. We've got the balloons and the leopard and the flowers. It's amazing. And I think, I think this one's my favourite one, the topper. Oh, is it? Yeah, I just like these colours. And I, like, I quite like partial to a lilac. So, yes. so that's some cards made by the team um, there's much more as well on the website if you want to have a look at some more inspiration but of course we don't just stop there when we are designing a club gift we want to give you some extra so you can get even more out of your collection when you're crafting away so next up is this edge to edge cardstock so there's 12 sheets in this for just six pounds at nine five pounds 99 if you log in so it's all foiled in that beautiful black foiling and it's all that leopard print on those bold colours. So there's two of each colour in the pack. 
Look at these. Oh, it's amazing, isn't it? I just need this. This in my life. <laughs> oh, that one. Yeah, it's so nice, isn't it? Yeah. So £5.99 for those 12 sheets, which is an amazing value. We always try and do our extras with the club gift with a little bit more money off, just as a thank you for being a club gift member. Here we go. We've got some beautiful acetate here. And we've seen quite a few of the cards that we've made with this acetate. Yeah, we're using the acetate in the next demo as well. So that's £7.99 and our acetate, as you know, is usually always eleven ninety nine. so you're going to save on that's that too. a good price, isn't it? I know. Because it's so expensive to actually produce, yeah. <laughs> especially with black foil. I know. They don't like us, do they? When we ask for, no. for, for foil, different foil colours on acetate or that leopard print because it's such a... Yeah. A heavy design. Those and, guys and machines don't like us. I know, and you can tell because if they do, if we're in the good books, everything runs smoothly. If, if we're not, or the designers are not, they come in and out, don't yeah. they? There's a few discussions and they're saying, well, no, we can't do it. And the designer says, yes, we are doing it. <laughs> <laughs> and this is how I want it. And then it happens. Uh, we've also got a mirror selection. So we've handpicked some beautiful colours that are going to go perfectly. So again, money off this if you sign in. So should be £9.99 for 18 sheets of Miri, and you can get this for £6.99. Look at all these gorgeous colours. So we've got lilac shimmers, we've got rich gold, and we've got that midnight black as well. So 18 sheets in there, all A4, our normal Miri quality. So it's perfect just to add to your stash. And then we've even got some ribbon and some gemstones. Look at that beautiful ribbon. It's so pretty, isn't it? It's worth just getting for your stash, isn't it? Those yeah. colours are so versatile. Absolutely. At £5.99, it's 18 metres. And our lovely Natalie always handpicks the ribbon colours. So we know that it's going to work perfectly with the collection. And then some gemstones. So even if you don't have these gemstones in your stash, you can get money off them, £6.99. So there's 480 in this little bundle. I always feel like the Miri, the ribbon and the gemstones are just such good prices. Oh, it's yeah. It's really worth just getting them like just to have because you know, you know you're going to use these. I know. And it's not often we do um, discount on our gemstones. No. And we use gemstones all the time, like you just said. So to get them for a better price, yeah. why not? And um, let me show you some more cards as well. So another one using that acetate. Look at that, I like how cute. that frames there. A little bit off centre. Yeah. Overlapping cute, on this it? one. That's a nice strip in the middle. And then I think this next one. Oh, that's so cool. That's really Oh my good. word, it makes my eyes go funny. It's like double leopard, because there's leopard underneath as well when you opened it. Yeah. Wow. Um, oh, cute. Yeah, I think we can say the, le the acetate's a winner. Yeah, I reckon. I reckon I love that one. That's using that topper that we used in that first card and kind of creating you know, a shape card with it. Yeah, I know it's really sweet that. Mm. I really like that. So next up, we're going to go to Anne Marie for demo two, but let's see what we need. So we got that foiled acetate, the black stamping card, some foam pads, the tape, and of course your club gift. Okay, so this um, for this one you are going to need your live, laugh, love topper sheets with the matching printed cardstock and then um, as Kelly said we've got our acetate and we've got our black stamping card so let's try and do all of our cutting at once this time let's be sensible so again we're making another seven by five such a popular size um, and we're going to start by cutting our black stamping card to seven so you could use black adorable scorable here but obviously on this card when you see all the um, the back of the card is black as well so it, it's it's up to you you can use a double score but it will give you that white finish if you don't have the black stamping card it is an option to use a double scoreable we're going to cut one of these then to five so we've got one seven by five panel and we're going to cut one of these to three and that's all that we need from our black stamping card then we're going to go to our gorgeous cardstock and again, I'm going to trim this down to seven, first of all. Oh no, we're coming under seven, sorry. I'm doing three notches under seven. And we're going to cut this one to three notches under five. So that's becoming our base 
that is going to sit onto that black, stamp black stamping card. Get your words out. <laughs> and then we're going to flip that around because we want this floral edge again. And we're doing that just under three. So again, that can sit onto that first panel that we cut out. So that's the two mats and layers sorted. Uh, let's then go to our acetate, which again, we're going to trim to seven. And that's all we're going to do with the acetate because we're going to put the scores in it to do the rest. So we can pop the trimmer out of the way. And let's bring in our scoreboard. And what we're doing with this easel, quite often when you get an easel card, it's kind of halfway. Um, but this one's actually a full one, so it kind of folds up. Uh, let me get it right, like this. So it kind of tucks in that way. Um, so rather than a like a half one, we're actually going the full seven by five size on those two sections. So we're going to score at five. And then we're going to score at ten. And then it's going to leave us that little tab. Now I've left mine the full A4 sheet. You can trim that little tab down if you want to. Um, obviously, it's going to give you a little bit of extra uh, acetate that you can you can kind of play with. So if we just trim that down to there, it's going to give you that little bit of acetate you can use on another project. Okay, and then I think now that's all of our cutting, all of our scoring. Again, we can just get putting this together now. So let's fold our acetate along those scores that we've put in. Now, obviously, because this is that 220 micron, it's really substantial. So it's really going to hold that easel card style. Um, and then go to our base here. So we're going to um, pop this onto here. I've done that properly backwards. Put my tape onto there. <laughs> like, what am I doing? There we go. And then we're going to uh, sandwich these two onto here, okay, to create this background. So let's start attaching this. I am actually going to get some double sided tape out, but we're going to use our red liner. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to go for, if I have one, the super chunky one. Oh, our new size? Yeah because that is the perfect width for this tab. And it means that we know that that double-sided tape is gonna really grab and hold that acetate on here. And it's such a good size because this is, it's just perfect for like things like this, for tabs if you're box making or anything like that. It is just ideal. So this is going to go onto the back of here. So just bringing that down, making sure it's not on that score line. So we still get that nice fold over the top of our card. And then these two sections, we're going to pop the black behind the leopard print there. And then we're going to bring this over the top. So it just hides some of the workings. It makes it a little bit neater. Um, so we can go again with our, I might go with my tape again, actually, just to be because the last thing you want is for things to kind of fall off on acetate because it can be a tricky substrate to, to stick to because it's like a glossy finish um, and it doesn't always, adhesive don't always grab very well to it. Like I don't like to use my construction glue on acetate because I don't think it always sticks very well because your glue can't absorb it. It yeah. can't get into the fibres like it can with paper. So we'll pop that on there. And then we'll pop this one straight over the top and then it's just going to hide our tape and our workings but it's going to give us that still that cool matte and layering effect on here as well so let's just pop that over the top here so making sure that you're leaving a nice border of that black all the way around there we go. And once we've done that, it's just decoration now. So we can go in and get our topper and we're going to use that lovely, massive topper. It's huge. It's so big, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, this, let's have a look at it on the map. It, it's six by six is like the smallest card that you can fit the whole thing <laughs> onto. I mean, obviously you can if you just take out the middle one. Let's have a look. That one's going to be fine to go on our five by fives. Uh, you can even get that on a four by four. So that's like the difference that you can you can kind of run with that, you know, just using different elements of that topper. 
again we've got that beautiful inner frame which we can use on another project because that in itself is gorgeous isn't it yeah um but we just need those two we need the hearts as well so we'll grab that the wavy borders on this top of sheet it's lovely it's so cool isn't it yeah. i love them uh so we need we need the live laugh love i don't think all three are on this one but i feel like we need we need all three so we're going to add an extra one on oh she says it's a little pesky one that doesn't want to come out. And Fiona on Facebook has said, I was thinking this card looked really hard, but now I think I could give it a go. Oh, you could absolutely. And I think that's the thing sometimes is that they look a lot harder than, than they are. And once you've mastered the style of card, you can recreate it in everything you've got in your stash. Um, you know, that's the, the beauty of kind of, of paper crafting, isn't it? Uh, and then we need the wiggly border as well so let's just grab that out of here and i think that's everything so still again loads of toppers left we've still got that scallop frame as well you could put those two together create something cool um but still loads and loads of bits and pieces left so let's get our um our little uh oh my goodness what do you call this stopper on first <laughs> oh my word don't be asking me oh i just could not could not think of the word then. Oh, I lost it completely. And um, those button toppers look so cute next to that one. <laughs> They're so sweet, aren't they? Yeah. So just going in with our little border. And this is why your strips are so good because you can just manipulate them into any shape. I mean, this is probably the most uh, fanciest <laughs> border that I've ever used these on but look how well they've just followed that shape around for us so this is going to sit uh, kind of wherever you want it to go if you pop it too far back you you risk these all kind of popping out but if you pop it too far forward you lose this detail um, so you kind of just want to get it kind of in the middle so you can measure it if you want to, or you can just kind of do it by eye um, and then just trim off the excess there that we don't need. Obviously, we'll save that for another project. So we've got that section in there now. Let's get our little heart on as well. I keep putting my phone pads away after, like after every demo. Let's just keep them out. We're not done. <laughs> just going to grab those little pips off there. Um, on YouTube, there's a comment by um, Gaz, and it says, I'm so naughty, I still have my goodie box stuff from last year because I <gasps> can't bring myself to open it. You need to. <gasps> They're going to be sat there crying, oh, those goodie right boxes. There. I can hear them from here. <laughs> They're so sad. You need to use them. Oh. But have you bought more? Yes, let us know. Because <laughs> we're, we're nosy, we like to know. We do like to know. Um, there was a lady uh, at Hobby Maker on Tuesday and it was her birthday today and her husband had bought her four boxes Aww. for her birthday and we were like, oh, that's really sweet. He's a keeper. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to add these on here. So I'm actually going to put my laugh down there because I want to use all three of those. Oh, they look sweet cute and then let's get this chunky border on next now this is actually going to come over the top if i just bring this back in it's actually going to sit over the top so it's going to come right down to the bottom so we want to make sure we're just popping foam pads on this section so a little top tip if we can get this to just lie flat for a section a session second is to just turn that over and just put your foam pads in here so that you can see where the top is so you know you're not going to end up going over um so let me just get started because i'm gonna i feel like i'm gonna need three hands to show you this because of the acetate popping up but we can just let's have a look how that's going yeah that's going to be fine we can take that around so we know that we can just leave that whole section because it's going to actually be right at the very top and we don't want the foam pads coming over and ending up kind of sticking to bits we don't want them to stick to 
So then let's add that on to the central section like that. Then our butterfly can go back in as well. And I think we're gonna double up again. And I'm gonna just put my foam pads onto the cardstock there. So again, just so that they're not kind of peeking through the acetate where we can kind of try and keep it a little bit neater with your, your foam pads with your acetate. And then that gorgeous butterfly is just gonna sit right in the middle. And I think that's everything. I think we're done. Let me just give this another crease. You can have a really good play around with your acetate and give it, kind of manipulate it into, into shape. If it's not quite sitting right for you, it's nice and easy to kind of move it around to get it to sit where you want to. But it looks such an amazing card, doesn't it? Because of that mm. acetate. It really does. A lot of people have said they're gonna give this a try oh, now. Oh, good, seen it. good. So, yeah. Brilliant, Marvelous. thank you really nice and um, there's a lovely comment on Facebook and it's by um, Caroline and she said I'm relatively new to Hunky Dory I've had my wild um, celebration club gift arrive last week oh. and hopefully I'll be ordering a goodie box today or maybe two and um, I've also had my purple trolley arrive so I feel <gasps> like you've ha you've joined at the right time all good things that is haven't amazing. you so um, yeah I definitely like what you've picked so far and um, we love the trolley here we do we really do um, so before we head on to the next bit, let's just recap that weekly question. So you can be in the chance for winning one of our Aqua scoreboards, which Anne-Marie has been using throughout her demos today. All you have to do is answer, like, share and comment your answer to the following question. What unusual pet did French poet Gérard de Naval walk on the streets of Paris? Is it A, chicken, is it B, lobster or is it C, monkey? Um, that was also my French accent there, which was I amazing. do hope we're going to have a picture of this tomorrow. Oh, did we? We were talking about this this morning. I don't think <gasps> so. It was like a very long time Was ago. it before cameras were around? <laughs> well, maybe what we'll have to do is reenact it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we'll get Dan dressed up. With, a, uh, with one of those pets. I mean, it is, it is a Friday, good things I happen. I think I have all of those in Teddy format in my house somewhere, so oh, yeah. we can make it happen. <laughs> Absolutely. Right, so next bits, we've got two more items that are part of this Wild Celebrations collection, and it's our amazing die and stamp. So we've got this leopard print background panel, and I can't believe we still got stock of this, because I feel like it was going really, really quick at the beginning, unless we've reordered, do you know? Possibly, I don't know. Maybe. So it's £14.99, but if you log in, you can grab this for £9.99. Just look how amazing. A leopard print panel, you can do all sorts with that. You don't just have to use it with this club gift, you can use it with absolutely anything. And then we've got this really big stamp. It's an A5 stamp set, so usually £10, but you can get this for £5.99. And we've got some of those images that are used throughout the collection. So we've got that vase there. We've got the nice trifle, trifle cake. We've got the boots and a balloon and just some sentiments as well. So there's a lot going on in this stamp set. Um, all got that leopard print pattern throughout. So it's gonna look great with whatever color you decide to stamp with so let me just show you some cards because i feel like you need to see the cards to see this moonstone panel to see how it works just look at that so, so nice cool, isn't it? so you can just create a little ombre background behind you can just place it onto different types of mirror different cardstock ink into it oh i like that so nice but then look, just what you can do. So you don't need to just cut it out of black or you know plain colours. You can go bold and colourful with this. And then we've just got some fussy cutting using that bite-sized book just to create these little butterflies. Just really like that. And then this. Love this pattern of using all like little strips. So if you've already made a few cards and you've got some strips left in, left over, why not put create a background? It's just and then you can hide all your workings out by just popping a little topper on using that stamp there adding some color behind i like this one because you don't even have to be quite neat with your color no it's cool isn't it yeah it's really nice here just using the stamp and creating oh, your own so background cool. look at those little purple boots and then it's your birthday go wild and a really pretty um vase of flowers there 
so that's everything that you can do with that stamp and the die and of course there's so much more so if you are grabbing the club gift make sure you log in and just have a look at everything else that's available but before we go back to Amory, let's just look at the bundle here again so it's worth £25.96 and you're going to get absolutely everything that you see there you're going to get your club gift the adorable scorable the bite-sized book inserts and double-sided papers and I think if I remember right it's like over a hundred sheets of artwork I'm sure it is so you can get that for £12.99 or it might not be no there's a little book it's well, 60 yeah, sheets your little book's itself. got 60 in yeah you know I, I, yeah. I bet it's if it's not that it won't be far off so £12.99 if you're logged into your account but we've got one more demo and this is what you're going to need so you're going to need the stamp set, some ink me cardstock, the colour block pad bright in the Mattastic version, black mirror, foiled acetate, foam pads and tape. Okay, so we are going to use uh, the balloon from our stamp set and we're going to need to, we need a little bit of black mirror as well just for our mats and layers. It could be adorable scorable, it could be the stamping card. Um, it's, it depends on what you've got in your stash. Um, I don't, I can't remember whether the tent folds were DL or 8x4. I know they're a slightly different size. Um, but remember. this finished card is 8x4. So I've just taken one of my 8x8s and I've just trimmed it down to four. So it's given me two 8x4s that obviously I can use another one for a project because it just has that nice side opening, which is just quite fun. Um, so we've got that card blank um, and we have our uh, brights here as well. So we're going to pick um, some colours from here. So let me, I feel like this is potentially whoever made Ooh. this card, Rachel maybe, has already, this is where <laughs> she got them from, potentially. And we do have DL tent folds. Is it DL? Yeah. yeah. So the one that we're, we're making here is an 8x4, so it's slightly different size. Um, I think 8x4 is just a little bit more of a round measurement compared to your DL. Uh, we need some orange. We need a bit of purple. I'm going to go this purple. So you just need little bits because all we're going to stamp is the actual circular section of the balloon. Okay, so you don't need a full big piece of your brights. Um, you can just get away with little, little strips. Do you know when, because you all share items in the craft room, mm -hmm. when you go and get a pad and somebody's already snipped out, are you like, oh. Well, Kelly, this is actually my pad off my trolley. It's not oh. even out of the craft room. Oh, so are you saying somebody has somebody, been in your trolley? Somebody has been in my trolley. Wouldn't be the first uh, time, Kelly. No, I can imagine. Wouldn't be the first time. We all share here. We do. We steal also. We do. This is what happens. Uh, okay. I think we've probably got enough there. Let's get stamping. So let's get this balloon. So the first thing we're going to do is stamp all of our balloons onto here so that I've got them ready. They can be drying while we do the other stamping um, because we need to cut these out. And if your ink's not properly dry, you can just end up with like fingerprints and smudges. So let's just pop this onto my block. And I'm just going to grab, you can use your stamping press, of course, as well. Don't feel you have to do it with the block if you'd rather use your stamping press. So just making sure you've got plenty of that black ink on there. And you see how little of the paper we actually need to use. You could be stamping lots of these in one go, um, making multiples of this card. And how different would it look if we do it in the, the pastels? Oh, yeah. uh, or if we did it in the um, the neutrals, you know, you can really change up how this card looks just by the colours that you actually stamp onto. You could do like a really cute like ombre um, and maybe just in one colour tone. So you could go pinks like light to dark across the balloons. There's loads that you can do. Um, Stacey is watching. Oh, is she? And she's put, I like to share on Marie's trolley. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. <laughs> But Stacey's got her own trolley now. Oh, she does as well. And Stacey's not in the office today. Right, Stace. It's going to be so. empty. <laughs> <laughs> they come in tomorrow, there's going to be nothing in it. <laughs> okay, we're going to pop those to one side. 
And then I'm going to bring in my A4 sheet of Ink Me cardstock and we're going to trim this down. So we're going to trim it to three by seven. Okay, so our base card is eight by four. So this panel that we're creating is going to be three by seven. So that's just going to sit onto our card and it's going to give us that lovely border because obviously we're going to go in with that leopard print acetate. So let's pop that out of the way. And then we're going to go onto here and we're going to stamp our balloons. So again, I'm just going to grab my Versafine. Just want to make sure that I've got my balloons straight. We're just seeing if we had any wipes in here. I can't see any. It's not a disaster. What are you looking for, Sarah? Just seeing if we had any wipes, but it's fine. Are you sure? Yeah, don't worry. Because well, what I want to do is I just want to make sure that that balloon string is straight. Because obviously with it being a, a an acrylic stamp, you can kind of move that a little bit. If you want to give it like a little bit of a wiggly, mm -hmm. you can do, but we're going, we're going for straight on this one. So just get in plenty of our ink in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the middle and work my way out. So I'm going to go with this and we're going to overlap you don't need to worry because we're going to cover the balloons with the strings so you, um, with the the colored ones so you don't need to worry about how these are going to sit if you have some that overlap it's absolutely fine you don't need to worry about masking um or anything like that so i'm going to bring that one there um, diane has said someone else's is always better like when you pinch one of their chips or have a bite of their sandwich. This is true. It is very true. This is true. I draw the line at sharing food though. Oh no. But Craft things, not a problem. I don't like to share food, but I like to share other people's food. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> this is okay. Yeah, other people's food. Yeah, and um, Lisa is the best person in the office to sit next to because she is full of snacks. Yeah, she is. All sorts of snacks. She is a snack queen, definitely. <laughs> No, Kelly does. Yeah, You're you just do. buying for Kelly, don't you? We don't get chance. They've already gone. Okay. So I think I'm happy with how that's looking. If you want to go in and add more, you could pop another one up there maybe, but we are going to put a sentiment in as well. So you don't want to make, don't want to have too many balloons because I think the, the beauty of this card is that clean and simple kind of look as well. Yeah. So then let's go in now and start cutting all of our balloons out. So if you have a die that fits this, that would make it um, even easier, but it's nice and easy to do with these scissors. I like to use my big scissors for cutting everything, no matter how big or small it is. Um, that's my personal preference. And what I like to do with um, the big scissors, because you've got such a long cutting blade, if you can get started around this edge, as far back down your blade as you can, you can just kind of turn this round and I'm not doing any additional cuts yet and it's giving you such a smooth edge compared to doing lots of little cuts because that's going to that's where you're going to get kind of little edges and you know this just makes it so nice and easy and smooth there we go let's just go around our green one so we can create a really lovely rainbow and as always, move your paper, not your scissors, because then it's just easier for you to cut rather than kind of getting your scissors round to like a funny angle and that's when it just gets harder. You can always make it easier for yourself. So just taking that around, just trying to keep that black edge in as well. Although we do, we are gonna have it obviously underneath where we've stamped as well so just taking that I'm glad you've not asked me to cut any of these out for you <laughs> I mean I've got some left if you'd oh, like no. to no no it's okay I prefer to watch okay we're nearly done now we've only got three left you're, you're so steady well y you would be using those top tips starting at the base of the blade turning the cardstock it's uh, it's so much easier, and we're cutting paper, so it's easier to cut as well than it is cardstock. But it is de de definitely easier once you've mastered move the paper, not the cardstock. Yeah. Uh, not your scissors, sorry. It, it, honestly, it just it's like a switch. 
is just flicks and you like. I think that's why you make it look so easy. Cause yeah. You, like nothing's you really moving. No, you're not moving your scissors because <laughs> if if you if you're a scissor mover, you end up like at all sorts of different angles, really awkwardly, and that's how things just don't. You, you can't cut them easily. I feel like today we've had quite a few new um, viewers. Oh, this is good. Yes, so um, we've got Dawn on YouTube and she's put a really brilliant show. I have learnt so much being a new crafter, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. This is what we're here for. Oh, we love a newbie, don't we? Yep, we do. We do. We've got to bring you into our club. Yeah, you're in now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then I'm going to go in with my dots. So I like to use my dots for things like this because, I don't know, I feel like you've got a little bit more control on where that tape goes. And then we're just going to start layering these up onto here. Um, let's try and do a little, a little rainbow. I'm going to pop the green one behind here. So just making sure your little bows meet up as well because obviously you've stamped that underneath, so you've got that space. Um, oh, this looks cute. Super cute, isn't it? We might need, oh, actually, let me put the purple one under there. That's the other thing, using your tape runners or your construction glue just gives you a little bit more flexibility as well to lift them up and get back in if you want it to. And then let's go with that one onto there and we're just going to need let's go back to the pink we're just going to need another another little bit of balloon do you know um because obviously there's a big birthday this year mm. you should get some leopard print balloons that's how we should decorate everywhere that's fine for your birthday i'm okay with that <laughs> <laughs> This is no, no problem at all for me. <laughs> um, let's get our sentiment. So we're going to go to someone special. I might, mm, I quite like the Darling You Are Fabulous as well. Shall we do that? Can we change up the sentiment? Yes. Is that allowed? Of course. Let's see if that will fit. I've got a little scrap here. I'm not sure. Did it come off the end of here? Yeah, it's just the perfect size for our sentiment. So <laughs> let's get that onto here. This is why it's always worth keeping your scraps because you'll always need them, even if you don't need them immediately. Um, we have got a few people as well on the Facebook that have had goodie boxes ordered while we have been live. Oh my goodness. And Claire has just opened her first box and she's put first boxes open and OMG, here is what is inside <gasps> with a big list. Oh my words so exciting it is isn't it I, I, honestly i was saying on on tuesday at hobby maker like, i just can't wait for everyone to get them home because it is the most exciting thing and it was really funny because um i was telling mark about it when he was in, he was asleep when i got home i was horrified um <laughs> what, what time was it? it well it was half past 10 quarter to 11 something oh, okay. like that um so i was like oh what i thought you might have only just gone up to bed but i was like oh, what time did you go up to bed he was like oh, about nine o'clock <laughs> Um, so I, I was talk, talking to him yesterday about it and he was like, oh, like, well, what, what is it? And I was like, well, it's, it's goodie boxes. I was like, it's mixed products, like all sorts of different things. And he's like, yeah, but are people going to be really unhappy with them when they get them home? And I was like, absolutely no, not, because not they are awesome. Um, I was like, our goodie boxes are the best. And we've had a few lovely reviews as well over overnight. Um, and of course, you can get earned points if you pop a review. Oh, can you? I forgot all about it. Yeah. So if you love the goodie boxes, please let us know. Yes. Oh my goodness, I forgot all about that. Okay, while our trim is out, let's do our mats and layers as well with our black mirror. So I think this is black. I found it in the, um, in the thing, but I'm not actually sure it is black. But it looks it, doesn't it? It does look it. So it's fine. So this just needs to be ever so slightly over three and ever so slightly over seven. So I'm doing two notches. So that's going to give us a skinnier border than what we had earlier. Um, can you see it's a nice, nice tight little border. And then this section 
uh, for our sentiment needs to be that's one and a quarter. So if I do two notches above one and a quarter, that'll give us the width. And then just to save measuring, I'm gonna pop that on and then trim it down. So I'll just place that onto there and then just go in and trim off that little bit. So that actual measurement is two inches. Okay, and then I think, oh no, we need to trim this as well. Let's just cut this and then we can start putting everything together. So I'm gonna bring this just under the eight by four again, just to give us a little edge of white. So I'm bringing that to two notches under four, two notches under eight. And then let's get popping all of this together now. So I'm gonna go in with my, where have I put it? Here my red liner tape again here. So I'm gonna pop this just in the middle because we don't want this to show when we put our um, central section in. But this will be enough to hold that acetate in place because your acetate is a little bit static. It kind of clings to your card at the same time. So we can just place that right in the middle there. I mean, you can hardly see that tape anyway. No, it's, it's so good, isn't it? And then let's get this onto whoops, our black. So just relieving that lovely skinny black edge all the way around. And then our sentiment's gonna go there. So we'll pop that on with a foam pad so we can give that a little bit of lift. And do let your balloons dry properly because I've got some fingerprints on here that are going to really annoy me. Let me see if we can. Oh, are they? <laughs> yeah. Just try and you glue and residue eraser. Honestly, it's for £2.99. It's one of the best tools you'll ever buy because it is perfect at getting some of these little marks off as well. So as all we, the other things it does. When we first got that and it came in, I looked at it, I was like, what is that? What is that? And then everyone's like, oh, it's the best thing ever. I'm like, is it? Are you but sure? Wh what is it? Why, why <laughs> does it look like that? Yeah, we did try and get a fun colour, but they were like, this is how it comes. And we were like, okay, we'll take it because we'll we need it. it. Yep. Okay, so those strips just going to go in the middle there. And that will just sit along there. I'm just going to turn that over and give it a good press down so that I don't end up smudging any of that ink that is potentially still wet. And there we go. There's what? your beautiful oh, look at that. little rainbow balloons. It's so cute. It's so simple though, isn't it? Yeah. Like it's, it's just like that last card, once you know how. Yeah. It's really, really easy to recreate. And that would look so different in, like, like we said, like the pastels or oh, yeah. like the neutrals, you know, like the greys or something. I know, when you said the neutrals, I thought I'd quite like to see it in the neutrals. Yeah. I and I am all for bright colours, but I think it would look really nice. I quite, do. Like classy. And um, I like that sentiment as well. Darling, you are fabulous. <laughs> so thank you very much. That's our three demos with our Wild Celebrations Club gift. So if you haven't already, make sure you grab yours before it's gone. We have got limited stock on that club gift now. And then we thought we would give you a little break from our goodie boxes today. But if you don't want them, it's okay because they're on Hobby Maker. So Pauline's there today. She's there at one, four and seven. And how many are we opening today on Hobby Maker? Uh, well, it depends how long they last. Oh, of course. Stocks, stocks at Hobby Maker are even more dire than they are here. Yes, and we. So, the plan is for her to open nine boxes, yep. three per show. Um, but currently, we don't think they're going to make it past the second show. Oh, yeah, four p.m. So, if you're wanting to put yours on split pay, because you can if you get in the four, mm -hmm. put them on split pay, or if you want in to order in America. Yes, of now course. is your opportunity to get them. Um, yeah. So yeah, hopefully all three shows she'll open three goodie boxes, um, but we do have a contingency for seven pm just in case. <laughs> yes, just in case. And it's not like we can just magic some more with our goodie boxes. Once they have gone, they have. Well, we gone. don't have any more boxes. <laughs> no, we don't. We order them out. 
<laughs> and that's it. <laughs> um, yeah, so make sure you tune in. And then just let me read you one more comment before we go. Um, Hayley has put on Facebook, my goodie boxes um, was fantastic. The total price of all my goodies came to £320. <gasps> so take the £120 for the four boxes. It leaves me with £200 worth of goodies. It's amazing, isn't it? Amazing, amazing. So we'll be back tomorrow. We have got three more um, boxes to open with you and that will be Rebecca and Kat. So join us here at 10 o'clock in the morning and we'll see you then. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.